first of all, we do have an updated website, and so if you haven't visited it recently, then make a point to look at it. What you'll see on the front, um, there's sliders, there's also blue um, tabs that will direct you to all of our um, dates for community engagements, newsletters, resources, and reports. And then there's a button where you can click for, um, if you'll go all the way down, yeah, where it says complaint and complaint process, commendation and comment. So if you will click on the complaint and process blue button, that's going to give you two different options. It kind of details the complaint process that Kim discussed earlier. And if you go down just a little bit more, there's another blue button that says sub submit a complaint online. When you click on that, it's going to give you two different options. So the first option is a commendation. And so we're going to go through that real quickly. And then we'll come back and do the complaint version. And so the most important thing about whether you're going to be filing a complaint or a commendation is to fill out as much information as you possibly can. So you're going to put the incident date, um, the time approximately, the location is the address. And by giving us the address, it's also going to be able to share with us the neighborhood where the incident happened. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It is in English and Spanish up in the right-hand corner, so depending upon what your needs are for that. And it will also, based on your address, tell us what police division is servicing this area. If in the case of a commendation, you're just going to write a brief summary of what it is that you want us to know about the officer um, that you're, you're sharing um, accolades about. If you happen to know the officer's name or their badge number, you can share that, the vehicle number. If you don't, just as much information as you possibly can. Knowing the date and the location is really key for us to be able to do that. You can submit these forms um, anonymously if you want to, but if you want to hear something back from us, then share all of your contact information. Your zip code is really important for us so that later, whenever we're trying to pull trends at the end of the year, we'll be able to do that more effectively. So again, if you want us to contact you, make sure you give us a phone number or email address. Um, we are pulling some other information as well for demographic purposes. So anything that you're willing to share would be great. And then we always have in the, the red, how did you hear about our office? Whether it was through the media, through our website, um, one of our social media pages or a friend, please let us know. And then if you have photos or video or any other form of documentation that you want to upload and share with us, you can do that as well. And then um, you're, you're going to, to click a box that says that you're acknowledging that everything that you say is true, that you really do want to provide accolades about this. You're going to electronically sign it by pushing the button. And then you're going to receive an automated email from us saying, thank you for submitting your, your commendation. We've received it. Um, if we're going to go back up and if we're going to do a complaint, it's going to ask for a little bit more information. And this is really when it gets um, down to the 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 bottom layer of making sure that we're getting all the information we need. Make sure you tell us the date and the time and that location, but also what is the circumstance? So was it um, as, a, as a result of a car accident? Was there some kind of a, a conflict with your neighbor? Try to tell us as many different things as you can about what was happening, and you'll just push the button and tell us all the different things that apply. Under allegations, tell us what happened. Do, what do you feel like, um, what type of misconduct do you feel like the police officer engaged in? You don't have to get it perfect, just put it in your words and, and we'll work through that process with you. And then the incident description, again, if there's more information, <coughs> more detailed information that you want to, to share with us, then do that. Let us know if there were injuries. Um, let us know if the, this, if you received a ticket or if you were arrested. And if you were, if you did receive a ticket, what is the police report number? So please make sure you put that down there as well. Again, if you have the police vehicle number, put that down there. Um, and just like with accommodation, any of the, the information about the officer, what their name was, their, their race, their badge number, anything that you can tell us about it, the better. Um, if you have a witness, someone that was there with you, put their information down as well. And if you have multiple witnesses, there is a green button where you can add more, so you can add as many as you need to. Um, if you have a witness, it's going to be really helpful if you can give us either an email address or a phone number so that we can make sure we have that. And then your information. Again, if you want this to be anonymous, you can do that, but there won't be a way for us to be able to report back to you. 
If you want to share your information, then share as much as you feel comfortable doing. Most important of all is your zip code, um, age, your gender, your race, how you heard about our office so that we can really pull some good data and trends. And then just like with the commendation, um, if you have photos, if you have videos, or any other type of information that you want to upload for us, please do that and attach that. Um, at the bottom over here, it says, do you want to submit a formal complaint? As Kim said previously, sometimes people just want us to know that something happened, or maybe they're not quite sure if they want to file a, a formal complaint and go through the entire process. If you know you do, put yes. If you're not sure, you could put no. Someone from our office is still going to be contacting you and talking to you and asking additional questions. You can always change your mind if you decide that you want to file a formal complaint at that point. Then again, under the acknowledgement, it's going to ask you to check that you know that, that, um, that, that you are agreeing, that everything you've submitted is accurate, and then you're going to submit that. So again, once you click, uh, click the green button and you submit it electronically, you're going to get an automated email from the system that has a copy of what you sent, so you can have that for your records, and it will let, that way you know that we received it. And then you should expect to hear from someone within the office within about 48 business hours.